Wow. Hello, everybody. I have not done this in a long while on my own wall. So I have some butterflies happening. Um, a couple of years ago, I was doing live videos on my wall pretty regularly. More recently, I've been doing them a lot with my business partner, Michelle. And um, today, I am coming to you here. Um, hold on one second. Sorry, I want to get my phone set up so that I can also see um, your comments as needed and not be distracted on the screen. Okay, okay. So yeah, I have I, I have butterflies in my belly. Number one, because I haven't done this on my wall in a very long time. Um, number two, because I am feeling so much so big in my system this morning today is the first day that femme begins and um this creatrix salon of the feminine arts is like birthing a baby for me so i have a lot of energy big energy in my system and i've known for a while that i wanted to come on and just i write a lot about beauty um, I'm passionate about beauty. I live beauty. I am moved by beauty and adding a voice, a, a tone and a harmonic energy to that conversation, um, feels good to me. So I, I really just want to settle in. Um, hello, Delayda. I'm so happy that you're here. Hi, beautiful. I've been loving your photos lately, like speaking of beautiful. Mm takes my breath a little. And that's um, actually, I feel it right when you come on. I have a look, it gives me like a surge of energy through myself. That's exactly the, the tone I wanna speak about when it comes to beauty. So um, there are women in my feed that when I see their posts go through, and it, it really honestly doesn't matter what they're talking about. I see these, beautiful women and I feel it. I feel a frequency in my own system. I feel their energy because those women are in love with themselves. And that's what really led me to come here and talk about this today in, in terms of beauty is that the more a woman is in love, falls in love with herself, the more she knows she's beautiful. It ultimately has very little to do with the outside and she is connected to that. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but in this moment, a woman's connection to her beauty is ultimately about her connection to herself, her intimacy with herself, seeing beyond what this world says the flaws are. I'm not speaking about beauty in terms of it just has to be makeup or it just has to be her clothes or it's what we see in the magazines and what we're told is beautiful. Beauty, it's an old cliche, but beauty ultimately is not only in the eye of the beholder, it's in the heart. Beauty is a heart harmonic that comes through the entire being and can move you so when you are a woman who is present with herself, who is intimate with herself, who is moving all of the pieces that create a barrier between herself and the depth of her being, the embrace, the love, the ability to fall in love with who she is. For a woman to do that, here, here's the benefit of a woman who has fallen in love with herself and feels her beauty. When she walks in the room, you know. When her post passes through your feed, you feel her. The energy is alive. When she speaks, there's a tone that comes through her voice. And for a woman who falls in love with herself and knows she's beautiful, those around her begin to feel it. She not only feels beautiful, she emits a frequency of beauty and other women around her begin to feel their beauty, begin to move through the spaces with them that are separated from that. And the gap closes and these women come alive and begin falling in love with the woman they are. And it's not about there's one way to be a woman, there's one way to be beautiful, there's one path to get there. 
the women that I see in my feed are so unique, are around the globe. We, we are around the world. We are in different cultures, different countries, wearing different clothes. Some have makeup, some do not. Some take the time and post selfies, some do not. It's a vibration. It's an energy you can feel when a woman falls in love with herself. And when she does, she feels more beautiful. When she does, she has more love to give. The love flows from her, for her family, for her children. As I was feeling into this this morning, I, I literally saw a mother who sees their child and is just overcome with emotion witnessing that child because she carries her own signature of beauty and she sees the beauty of that being, the perfection in that moment, no matter what the child may be doing. There are these moments that we has, as mothers have each experienced. We experience it with our family members. We experience it with our partner. When a woman feels I imagine every woman watching and feel free to share your comments. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Philippa. I see you both. Thank you. Feel free to comment as a woman about how knowing you are beautiful makes you feel, how it impacts the world around you. A woman who knows she's beautiful on her own, without her guy telling her without something outside of her validating it. A woman who feels that when she engages her guy, regardless of what he's doing, he will feel it. He will feel the life force of this woman who is so alive and she becomes more beautiful to him. She brings that vitality, that vivacious, voluptuous energy to engage with life into everything she touches. It's in her work. It's in her home. When you walk into her home, you see it, you feel it, you're enveloped by it. You see it on her person, regardless of how she looks, of how she puts herself together. When she is in love with herself, you feel it. When you are a woman who is falling in love with yourself, who is holding that energy, you feel it when you're out in the world. You feel this energetic buzz that is nothing to do about how people receive you and becomes amplified in your engagement in those ways, in those places. When someone else feels it, you feel it. So it amplifies a frequency of high vibration love on this planet and i'm not talking love oh i have to tell you like this energy of love is settling in so deeply that i've found myself and i i could be super emotional about it but i have found myself over the last few days really dropping into what is the language for this? Because our old language isn't holding the potency of the energy that love in our current time, love at the frequencies that in this Aquarian energy is available to us, the potency of it, the clean purity of it. It's not attached to conditions and what is done for us and how somebody makes us feel and if they take care of our emotions. It's so clean and pure. This is what I'm talking about when I speak of beauty equals love. That the more a woman falls in love with herself, the more beautiful she comes, the more love she inspires. She's a walking muse of dripping golden light that warms your entire system. Energy, shimmering energy that changes the frequency. It alchemizes alchemy at its most basic definition, turns base metal into gold. A woman who is in this space with herself is walking, breathing, living, alchemy life force and if you are a woman who knows you are here to change the planet 
to have impact, to leave a legacy, to create new paradigms for what you know is true. And the old language can't capture it. I'm talking to you. I know there are many of you out there. Anna, it radiates out and touches others. Absolutely. And then others become touched and something shifts. This is what changes our world in current time. It's multidimensional. And it doesn't just touch a person, it touches a heart and changes what's there. It melts away barriers, fears, spaces, heartbreak. It closes the gap of space between us. It touches the soul and the soul connects to a level of divinity previously not accessed all by one simple thing. Seemingly simple, right? A woman who loves herself. A woman who knows how to be with herself in the messy, in what feels ugly, in what feels not true, in what she's struggling with, and still stay with herself. Hold the intimacy and watch the lies unravel and dissolve. And the deeper she goes into love, the more she pulls her beauty in, the more she stands in it the more those will arise and she will unravel them and she will deepen. So when a woman is connecting to her beauty, I'm going to go real, start real surface level here for a moment. There is a frequency of beauty in how a woman puts herself together. And by that, I mean, imagine a blank canvas. You're a woman, you've got a blank canvas, you know you're going to create something. You know you'll use colors, perhaps textures, perhaps different materials. And you're going to choose them according to what resonates with you. In my language, what vibrates? What makes you come alive? What gets your attention? What feels good in your system? This is how I work with when I'm designing and creating a room, when I'm designing and creating a crystal grid and I know energy is gonna come through it. Anything I'm designing and creating, even a meal sometimes. There's a blank canvas and here's how beauty fits every single woman. Not every woman is going to design that canvas the same way. Not every woman will use paint. Not every woman will use the same color of paint. Not every woman will use the same textures. Not every woman will use a lot of paint and detail and some will. Some have favorite colors that they would use every single time. Some will experiment. Some will be loud and some will be soft and quiet. Every single piece of art has its own tone. And as long as she is coming from the truth of herself and what is beautiful to her eye, she knows she's creating a masterpiece. So when I speak about and when I see women and Femme today, Femme starts, Femme is season one, and it's all about how she puts herself together on the surface, but at a much deeper level, and I can feel this in my belly. It's about a woman falling in love with herself and knowing, knowing she is beautiful, no matter what the world says this looks like. Because when a woman knows she's beautiful, she's beautiful. There are many women who look beautiful and you can't feel them. We're not talking about that. We're talking about 
living, breathing in and with herself as a creation of beauty that makes her come alive. That every time she steps in front of the mirror to put herself together for going out in the world, for the day at home, for work, for being with her children, before she crawls into bed with her love, every single time she sees beauty and is creating herself, the expression of herself, not a facade, not an image, not a projection, but the next masterpiece of her beauty, whether she's crawling into bed with night cream and a clean washed face, or she's beautifully made up with makeup and skin cream and clothing and jewelry and her hair the way she loves it. When I decided, gosh, five years ago now, to grow out my natural color, this beautiful hair color that I have now, I was a gorgeous, rich, deep brunette, and I'm talking gorgeous hair color. It was beautiful. I loved it, rich and full. And I was coloring it and every now and then, probably within three weeks, I had silvery roots showing and I got super tired of dealing with it. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna grow it out. I'm gonna figure out how. And I had an exquisite hairdresser, hello Neil, who knew exactly what to do. And for three years, three and a half years, highlighted and low lighted my hair to grow it out. To my natural color and this is all mine now so many people said to me and I have emotion remembering back how it felt to make that choice it was it was intense at the time to make the choice even though people said gray you're gonna go gray you're 45 years old what are you gonna do with gray hair even my husband, George, at the time was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like your gray hair. Gray? And I grew it out and I trusted and I stood in what I knew was right for me, having no idea how I was going to like my hair. And here's the truth. Because I knew it was right for me because I believed in it, because I stood in that. I loved it the whole time. I was very happy about it. It was a relief. I didn't miss the brunette. I didn't miss any of that. I didn't feel less beautiful. In fact, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, women stop me now and say, oh my God, your hair. Your hair is beautiful. Is that all yours? It is. It, it, look, it's gorgeous. And part of why it's gorgeous is because I love it. I love it. And as small as it seems in the big picture of things, a woman in her hair, <laughs> it's actually not small. There's so much I could say about a woman in her hair. It's her crowning glory. It's, it's said to carry energies and connect to frequencies and she can sense through it. I love my hair now. I love the gray. I actually feel the most beautiful I ever have in my life. I've written that. I'm here to speak it loud. I have never felt more beautiful, not when I was young and perky and tight and thin, not before I had babies and stretch marks, not before I'm about to turn 50, not at 40 or 25 or 30, because I didn't know what true beauty was in the soul of a woman in her love for herself. I didn't know.
that changes the world. I don't try to impact women when I go out, but women are impacted when they see my natural hair because they see beauty. They see a woman who is seated deep and relishes in the gorgeousness of simply who she is. I decided it was beautiful. And because I fell in love with me and my hair and my beauty, other women feel that. Other women are inspired to grow their hair out. And I'm not the only one. I've connected with several people and women who have done the same thing. That's just an example of a woman who lives in her truth, loving herself, becoming a ripple effect energy of beauty, creating a masterpiece with her own paint, with her own energy, with her own heart, with her own presence, with what she loves. And at the time I chose to stop coloring my hair, what I loved more than being a brunette was not coloring my hair. That's what I loved. I loved the brunette. I loved the richness, but more than that, I loved not having to maintain it. I decided, I set the tone, I touched the frequency. And because I stayed true to that and clean and clear and also had to move through the bumps of what other people fe felt and said, I still felt that, I still had to navigate that and choose what was right for me. Beauty on a woman is about her living who she is, her falling in love with herself. And it's, it's as simple as that, and it's so much bigger than that. Because when she does that, I see the visual every time, and I've shared it before. She's dripping golden nectar life force everywhere she goes frequencies of energy, legacy of a woman who can feel her beauty, love herself, and have impact. There are so many old stories about a woman who is beautiful, who chooses beauty, who lives her beauty, who talks about beauty, who falls in love with herself, that have to go, that simply aren't true. And I'm not going to voice them all. I imagine if you're listening to this and you've been listening, you feel them in yourself. But I am going to go forward in my work with women to hold them here and allow them to breathe and create something new. Create a new story a new truth, a new paradigm around a woman and her beauty and falling in love with herself that is alive, that has a mystical tone to it. Because if you're still, if you, those of you who are watching, you've seen these women, you've experienced them. You know what it feels like when she crosses your path. There's something in you that just stops for a moment and wonders what she knows, who she is, what she's creating in the world and wants to just get a little closer. And the woman who falls in love with herself, who knows herself, who creates her masterpiece freely without shame, without weighted energy, without judgment of herself. Her frequency of beauty changes the world. Beauty is the signature and embodiment of the femme. And that's what I'm diving into today. So 
I really just, um, I've, I've had a lot I've wanted to say here and I've known it would be the right time um, when it was the right time. I would, interestingly, I recently just bought myself, um, speaking of beauty and things you love, I bought myself this pair of reading glasses, which I love. It's kind of hard to see them on the computer, but um, I love them. And it's funny how we love the simplest little things. And here's why I shared that with you. This is what they came wrapped in. This happens to me all the time. I bought skincare a few years ago, and when I opened the cover of it inside, it had quotes about beauty. Part of my work is I am here to change the dialogue and the energy and purify the connection, the intimacy between a woman and her relationship to her own beauty which then impacts her relationship to other beautiful women in the world. And no longer is she competing. She's connecting. She's feeling more beautiful by witnessing them. That's what's been happening to me, watching these women in my, fe in my feed, my field, both. Witnessing women authentically coming into and embracing their beauty through their own signature expands mine. That's part of what we're here for. Community, connection, expansion, amplification. So however you do, women, create your masterpiece. I love it through the tones that match your skin and your energy and your harmonic tone of being woman the way you like to experience yourself in this world and in the mirror. Knowing that when you see her, you just love her. You fall in love with her. You look in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, so beautiful. I didn't experience that when I was young. I do now. I do now, and sometimes it like catches my breath. Holy shit, that's me. <laughs> and I want that for my daughter. And I want that for my grandchildren. I want that for all women to have that experience that she catches a glimpse of herself. And it takes her breath. Not because there's pressure to look or be something but just because she is, because she's living herself, because Delayda, she bought the shorts. I love that post. That's it, that's enough. That's enough. I desire for women to feel enough. No matter how much or what makeup she wears, what her clothes look like, what anybody thinks about it, the way she wants to wear her hair, how she wants to move in this world, no matter what. I want women to feel enough just the way they are, especially because she's adorned, she's dressed, she's styled, She's undressed, whatever it is, the way she desires and that looks beautiful to her eye and feels beautiful and connected and soothing and sensual on her skin. A fragrance, I have this, this fantastic little fragrance that Michelle introduced me to, Musk Amber, and when I put it on, it's just a, it's a, a beautiful essential oil and when I put it on, like immediately, there's a frequency of beauty that ripples through my being. That's what I'm talking about, that. And when I put that on, I feel it. I go out into the world, I get on a live, it ripples out, you feel it. You feel it, you go out into the world, you connect, you create food or something in your home or just lie back and binge on Netflix. It doesn't matter, it still ripples out. 
That's it. You don't have to do something outside of being who you are and saying yes to that. That's it. Whew. I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> I moved all that. I had little notes for myself just because I haven't done this in so long. Samantha, I want to read your note here. Um, I remember seeing a woman in a convenience store I went to and her hair was naturally gray, but it touched me every time I saw her and I couldn't help but gush over her gorgeousness and radiance every damn time. Oh my gosh, you asked her if she would give you permission to touch her hair. She agreed and I swear it was alive with life. Wow, Samantha, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. Mm, that's beautiful. I've had that experience or something similar to that when I've been out and I see a woman and I can't be quiet. I have to go over and say there was an older woman on a flight once, a much older woman, and I was beginning to transition the gray and really feeling the crone energy coming through and just in a in a transition space. And also at that point, there were a lot of things about um, getting older and seeing younger women and parts of myself that were no longer in maiden or mother because my kids are all grown, grown and gone. And so moving into that next stage and just feeling the vulnerability of that, even though I'm not even 50 yet and I know I'm young, so I'm not lamenting. But in those moments, I was feeling the humanity and the vulnerability and the collective energy in the feminine about aging. I was I was beginning to experience and um, move through some of that. And I saw this older woman and she was just dressed so damn chic, so chic. Like I noticed her, she stood out and I couldn't. I couldn't not, is that the right way you say it? I don't know, but I had to go over to her and just tell her she was stunning, absolutely stunning. So I understand that experience, Samantha. I, I have experienced that as well. Beautiful women for me. And as a beautiful woman, not just because of the physical, but because inside I've intentionally cultivated my relationship, my intimacy with beauty and come a very long way on purpose. Beautiful women take my breath away. Yeah, they impact me. They impact me. So I don't just speak from being in the body, in the energy, in the heart space of a beautiful woman. I speak from a woman who is impacted by truly beautiful women who know, women who know they are beautiful. There's something so incredibly magical, high frequency about a woman who knows she's beautiful and wears it cleanly, purely, in her own authentic energy and is not apologetic and does not make herself smaller nor blow herself up. She just is because of it, in it, as it, with the beauty signature that is hers. So I'm gonna keep this short, 33 minutes. I mean, that's pretty short, right? Three, I like threes, 33, 33, my timer says. Thank you to the women who joined and to everybody who listens I would love to know you were here or what your experience with beauty is. I believe, I believe every woman, I dare say every woman has some experience and dialogue and truth around beauty. And I also believe there are new energetics available to us as women in relationship to our beauty and especially with the knowing and the embrace that our beauty equals love and love changes this world. I'm sure I'll have more on that soon. Thank you, everybody. Oh, and if, if you want to join FEM, we start today. I still, I, there's plenty of space. There's plenty of time. Um, there will be more to come in Creatrix. This is my baby 
and I am thrilled to um, dive deeper into beauty today. So just one little note there. Thanks, everybody. Bye.